Hey guys, welcome to another video. Did you know you can recharge silica gel? In this video, I'm going to show you how. Now you've probably seen these little silica gel packets before. They normally come packaged in new electronic gear. And what they're designed to do is to absorb moisture. And they can absorb up to 40% of their own weight in moisture. So they're handy to hold on to. You can use them, for example, in your camera gear when you're storing it, and that can just protect that gear from moisture while it's in storage. Now I use silica gel for a different application. I've got a car that's under a cover here, and what I use silica gel for is to protect the interior of the car. So just to keep that cabin dry, so I've had an issue in the past where the interior's just gotten a little bit of mould inside. So I use big packets of silica gel inside the car just to keep that moisture out. So what we'll do is we'll move the Indian out the way, remove the car cover, and I'll show you how I use the silica gel. Just jump in here and I'll show you what I've done with the silica gel packets in this car. Right, so I've got two 1kg packets of silica gel in this car. Just got one on the back seat there and one just in the front. And what I use them for is just when the car's closed up and in storage, it just soaks up any of the moisture that's uh, in the cabin here. So it just helps protect the interior. Okay, or well what we'll do is we'll jump inside and I'll show you how to recharge these packets of silica gel. Now I forgot to mention too, we're going to need some scales for this job. So we'll just grab some scales before we go inside. And what we're going to do once we're inside is we're going to weigh each of the packets of silica gel before we recharge them. Okay, welcome back. We're in the kitchen now and we'll start this process of recharging the silica gel. Now there's several things you're going to need. First thing is a oven tray. Normally I have the oven tray and I just use one of these baker's trays just on top. And I sit the silica gel on top of that. Um, it just allows the heat to circulate under the gel packets just so they're not laying flat on a hot surface. So that just allows that moisture to escape from the bottom of the packets. Second thing you're gonna need is a oven and you need to heat the silica gel up to around 120 degrees. Okay, so first thing we need to do is um, weigh these silica gel packets. Now, as you know, we've got two 1kg packets and one thing to note is as they absorb moisture, they get heavier. Okay, we're just going to start off by weighing these smaller packets. So that one's six grams. And that one is six grams as well. So we'll just place those on the tray and then we'll move over to these 1kg packets. Now I'm just going to use a bowl to measure this, so I'll just zero that. Okay, this first packet is 1345, and we'll just place that onto the tray. And we'll just do this last one. Now I've marked this one with a black dot just so we can differentiate between the two packets. And that's 1304. Let's place that onto the tray. Okay, the next step is just getting these heated up. Now just one thing I thought I'd mention is that you can get colour indicating silica gel. Now what the colour indicating silica gel does is it changes colour as it absorbs moisture. So as you recharge it, you can actually see it recharging. This stuff of course is in packets, so we can't actually see the colour of the gel itself. And that's why we weigh it, and that way we can see that the gel has actually recharged itself. 
Okay, well we'll pop this in the oven and you need to leave it in for about one or two hours. We'll uh, leave it in for one hour and we'll take a whey in and just see how much moisture they've lost. If they haven't lost enough moisture, what we'll do is we'll pop them in for another hour. Okay, and we'll just leave them baking for one hour. We're about one hour into the drying process now, and I thought we'll just take out two packets here and we'll just see how much weight they've lost. Oh, so that's only lost one gram of weight. So it's probably not that much. And then we'll remove this one here. Now I'm just going to wear a glove while I handle that bigger packet. Now we'll grab this one here. This was the one with the black dot and I weighed it in at 1304. I'll just pop that in there. So that's down to 1248 now. So still a wee way to go. Um, I'm going to put these in for another hour and then we'll just see what difference that makes in one hour's time. We're at the two hour mark now, so we'll just check and see if there's any difference in weight in the silica gel. So we'll start off with these little small packets. Okay, so we're still reading five grams on these small packets. So I'm going to conclude that uh, this is the original dry weight for the silica gel, five grams. So I'll take those out of the oven and we'll just move on to this big packet of silica gel. Now you may recall that the weight of this packet was 1248 grams at the one hour mark. So we'll just grab this out. Okay, so that's dropped down to 1116 grams. So I'm going to leave this in for another 30 minutes to another hour and then we'll get another weigh in. Right, we're back. So it's been about 3 hours 40 total time now that the two larger packets have been in the oven for. I've turned the oven off, I've let everything cool down. So we'll just get the big packets out and we'll weigh them up and just see how much moisture they've actually lost. Right, so we've got our two larger packets of silica gel here and what we're going to do now is just pop them onto the scale and just see what they weigh. Now we'll start off with this packet here. This originally weighed in at 1345 grams. Okay, so that's at 1019 grams. So we can see it's lost a lot of moisture. And now we'll move on to our other packet. This one is the one with the black dot, and that originally weighed in at 1304. Okay, and that one weighs in at 1018 grams. So you can see that they've lost a lot of moisture. So these are ready to go back into the car. Now one thing I forgot to mention, if you're storing silica gel after drying it, just put it into a sealed container until you're ready to use it. Well that brings us to an end of another video. You've seen how to successfully recharge silica gel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.